Welcome back to UAT Solutions. In this tutorial, we will discuss the electronic expansion valve and superheat an electronic expansion valve, used in refrigeration and air conditioning systems to control the flow of refrigerant into the evaporator. It is an electronically controlled metering device that is capable of modulating the refrigerant flow with high precision based on the actual cooling demand of the system. The EEV works by using a stepper motor or a solenoid to open and close the valve, allowing more or less refrigerant to flow through it. The opening and closing of the valve are controlled by an electronic control unit, ECU, which receives input from various sensors such as temperature and pressure. The EEV allows for more precise control over the refrigerant flow, which in turn leads to better control over the evaporator temperature and more efficient operation of the system. By adjusting the refrigerant flow to match the actual cooling demand, the EEV can help to reduce energy consumption, improve system performance, and extend the life of the equipment. In the picture, it's shown how are the suction temperature and pressure are measured by the ECU unit, also known as EEV controller or driver, and its connection to the EEV valve. Let's understand what is superheat and why it is important. Superheat is a term used in refrigeration systems to describe the temperature difference between the refrigerant vapor and its saturation temperature at a given pressure. In a chiller, superheat is an important parameter and is used to control the expansion valve operation to ensure that the refrigerant leaving the evaporator is in a fully vaporized state, which is necessary for efficient operation of the system. To calculate superheat in a chiller, you will need to measure the temperature and pressure of the refrigerant at two points in the system. 1. Evaporator Outlet Measure the temperature and pressure of the refrigerant as it leaves the evaporator. 2. Saturation Temperature Determine the saturation temperature of the refrigerant at the same pressure as the evaporator outlet. Once you have these two values, you can calculate the superheat using the following formula. Superheat is the delta T between evaporator outlet temperature and saturation temperature. Superheat equal sign. Evaporator outlet temperature. Saturation temperature. Let's assume that evaporator oilet temperature is 15 C and saturation temperature is 10 C. So superheat will be equal sign 15 C 10 C equal sign 5 C. Now that we know what is superheat, let's see how expansion valve behave upon the changes in superheat. In case of superheat is low, it means that the refrigerant leaving the evaporator is not fully vaporized and contains some liquid refrigerant. This can have a significant impact on the operation of the electronic expansion valve, EEV, in the chiller system. When the superheat is low, the EEV may respond by closing to try to allow fewer refrigerant to flow into the evaporator to maintain the desired cooling capacity and preventing the excessive liquid refrigerant from entering the compressor. But if in case of high superheat, it means that the refrigerant leaving the evaporator is vaporized more than it should be. It can result in high compressor operating and discharge temperature and low cooling efficiency of the chiller. To maintain the required flow, EEV will respond by opening to allow more refrigerant into the evaporator to meet the desired temperature. Therefore, it's important to maintain the desired superheat value within the recommended range for the chiller system to ensure that the EEV operates properly and the system functions efficiently and reliably. If the superheat is found to be low or high, it's important to identify and correct the underlying issue, such as insufficient refrigerant flow or over-refrigerant flow into the evaporator, to prevent damage to the system and maintain optimal performance. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe and share at UA Technical Solutions.